Hey y'all and welcome to another Movies on DVD. This time around my wife and I watched the movie The Last Stand, which is the first movie that Arnold Schwarzenegger has headlined in since he left the governor's office in California. The movie had a 30 million dollar budget. In the end it made around 37 million dollars. It's not a top rated movie. If you like fast cars, big explosions, and predictable dialogue, plus a little Schwarzenegger, then you'll like this movie. This is typical Schwarzenegger. He plays a person of authority, a sheriff in a small town, uh, goes by the name of Ray. You don't really get that much backstory uh, on the character of Ray. All you know is that he's been in law enforcement for a number of years. Uh, apparently he was in the narcotics division in LA. Something happened and uh, Ray just finally wanted to find a nice, quiet little place to settle down and I guess live out the rest of his life. And that just happens to be a small town in Arizona. He's got three deputies, Jerry, Mike, and Sarah. Considering the size of the town though, you have to wonder why you need three deputies along with a sheriff. Forrest Whitaker plays FBI agent John Bannister, who happens to be in charge of a prisoner transfer, a very high risk drug lord that goes by the name of Gabriel Cortez. And of course, as everything happens in these movies. The transfer goes badly, uh, Cortez escapes, and he happens to take another FBI agent by the name of Ellen Richards hostage. Just so happens that not only is he a drug lord, he races cars, which is where the fast cars comes in. Somewhere along the line, a very souped up, I can't even remember, a Corvette something or another. I'm, I'm not even sure if the car exists in reality but it's a super fast car. I mean, it almost does 200 miles per hour. And of course, he's a race car driver. Drug Lord, race car driver. Yeah, I see the mix. For the majority of the movie, we're spending our time watching various shots of this fast ass car going down the highway, blowing through roadblocks, helicopters can't catch it. And the entire time he is headed to the US Mexican border because if he can get across the Mexican border, then he's home sweet home and the FBI supposedly can't touch him. The FBI realizes that he's heading toward the Mexican border. So they phone up Ray in his small little town and said, you know, you happen to be around the area where he might cross, but there's really no crossing there. So Forrest Whitaker's character, the FBI agent, just gives him a courtesy call, gives Ray a courtesy call and said, hey, he's headed your direction, just wanted to give you a heads up. Of course, Arnold's got other issues happening in his small town, so he really doesn't care about that at this point in time. As I said, the movie focuses a fair amount on the travels of Gabriel and his fast car and the um, FBI agent that he's holding hostage. However, Gabriel doesn't realize that he's actually heading toward the wrong town. Not the wrong town as in the wrong destination. He just doesn't realize what is actually waiting for him there. The movie is fun. It's sometimes cheesy. Johnny Knoxville is also in the movie and he plays his typical idiotic uh, comedy relief role. I look at this movie as a good transitional piece for Arnold to get back into acting. Uh, there's a couple of things that they actually notate. They kind of go out of their way in the script to point out that uh, Arnold's age, but the fact that he still looks good and he's an immigrant. Wow, you're looking jacked, Ray. You've been working out. How are you, Sheriff? Old. Nah, you got a ways to go yet. Why they decided they needed to point out all three of those things, I'm not entirely sure, but like I said, I feel like it's a very good transitional movie. I give it a score of six out of one to 10. It's a, it's a fun movie. Check it out on DVD, it's on iTunes and Amazon VOD. See you next time.